Clinton cares about your toddlers. Old Nana Clinton cares about your toddlers so much that she doesn't want them to be shot or do any shooting of people. In fact, she's so concerned about toddlers that she thinks the Heller decision was about keeping guns away from babies. Just watch. You mentioned the Heller decision and what I was saying uh, that you referenced, Chris, was that I disagreed with the court applied the Second Amendment in that case because what the District of Columbia was trying to do was to protect toddlers from guns. And so they wanted people with guns to safely store them. And the court didn't accept that reasonable regulation. Now it wasn't. The Heller decision was an affirmation of the Second Amendment in Washington, D.C. and ultimately went on to eliminate the handgun ban there. Now, normal people would have expected a lawyer or even a presidential candidate like Hillary Clinton to have known that, but she didn't doesn't fit her narrative. Now, toddler-involved shootings are truly horrible and they should never happen. Responsible firearms ownership means that your baby should never have access to your guns and I think any capable firearms owner would agree with me and Hillary Clinton on that. But let's take a look at Hillary Clinton's toddlers with guns narrative. Let's drill down on the numbers a little bit. Best arguments from the Washington Post say there are 360 million guns in the United States right now. That's more guns than people. And that's probably a low estimate. Firearms owners like me are a little skeptical of those question askers when it comes to our guns. We just never know who's going to come along and try to grab them from us. But with all those guns, only 51 toddlers were involved in shootings last year. A country of 320 million people with 360 million guns. And there were only 51 toddler involved shootings last year. Each and every one of those shootings is an absolute tragedy that should never have happened. But those numbers are just so statistically small that I would argue that Hillary Clinton, if she truly believes baby lives matter, that she's focusing in the wrong place if she really cares. Hillary Clinton says she cares about the lives of toddlers and babies so much that she wants to take your guns away. But not enough to vote against partial birth abortion. As a senator, Hillary Clinton voted against a federal ban on partial birth abortion. In fact, during the presidential debate, Clinton restated her support for partial birth abortion. Here. You also voted against a ban on late-term partial birth abortions. Why? Because Roe v. Wade very clearly sets out that there can be regulations on abortion so long as the life and the health of the mother are taken into account. And when I voted as a senator, I did not think that that was the case. The kinds of cases that fall at the end of pregnancy are often the most heartbreaking, painful decisions for families to make. I have met with women who, have, toward the end of their pregnancy, get the worst news one could get, that their health is in jeopardy if they continue to carry to term, or that something terrible has happened or just been discovered uh, about the pregnancy. I do not think the United States government should be stepping in and making those most personal of decisions. Now let me explain to you what Clinton is really talking about. While she's trying to frame it as a woman's choice, partial birth abortion, is a modern evil. A fully formed viable human being is pulled out of its mother's body by the legs and then stabbed in the skull with scissors while its head is still inside the mother's body to skirt state laws about murder and infanticide. Because if that child is fully born alive, it has rights. So it's killed while it's still less than halfway inside the mother's body, partially born. And while Clinton is trying to justify her argument in favor of killing fully formed humans as a matter of medical necessity, that just isn't true. Most of the partial birth abortions performed before it was banned in 2003 by George W. Bush were nearly exclusively elective, meaning that neither the mother nor the baby had any health challenges that would have necessitated the termination of the pregnancy. The babies were perfectly healthy viable little humans, soon to be born alive, having scissors stuck into their brains out of pure convenience. 2,200 such procedures occur every year in the United States, but some estimates put it in the tens of thousands, given how private abortion clinics in the United States operate with very little oversight or scrutiny. In fact, clinic oversight is something Democrats like Hillary Clinton consistently oppose. 
We know these procedures are happening illegally every day. That's how Planned Parenthood was caught on tape selling baby parts obtained by this manner of abortion. Abortionist and serial killer Kermit Gosnell is in jail for just being really bad at killing babies before they made it all the way out of their mom's bodies. Instead, he resorted to killing them on the operating table instead, when they were born and they had rights. Way more lives are claimed this way than by Hillary Clinton's dreaded babies with guns. And wherever you stand on the abortion issue, sticking scissors into the heads of fully formed humans should shock you and it should sadden you. But Hillary Clinton, this doting grandmother who doesn't want gangs of armed babies roaming the streets, voted to keep partial birth abortion legal and available to anyone who wanted it for whatever reason they felt like. Hillary Clinton stood not with the 84% of the American public who are against elective partial birth abortion. Instead, she stood with the evil 16% of people who think it's perfectly okay because it's a woman's choice. I guess 16% of the people who walk among us are evil. Just look around you, those numbers, <laughs> they probably seem just about right. I guess Hillary Clinton thinks babies can't shoot you if they never get a chance to be born. And I wonder how Hillary Clinton would feel about partial birth abortion if they used guns instead of scissors. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. If you want more American election coverage with a Canadian perspective, click here to join the Rebel.